Hey everyone, Justin here, and I have one that I'm really excited to share with you. It is Service Operations Workspace. Let me give you a little background because I had a video early on, I was talking about the next experience, the new UI, and this new workspace concept, and one of the things that I noticed right away that was missing was there was no agent workspace inside these workspaces. Like, how did they overlook refreshing, bringing agent workspace into this new great experience? And I kind of moved on and said, hey, that's just, you know, maybe it didn't make the cut for San Diego and uh, was browsing around in change management documentation. And I ran across this service operations workspace. It's right above my head. So this guy right here, service operations workspace, you don't need agent workspace anymore. You can do everything here. Incidents, changes, problems, request catalog, interactions, converting them back and forth. We can look at on-call schedules. We can look at all sorts of things. This video is gonna be a quick tour. I'm gonna to do a deeper dive. As you can see in the middle, my overview, I'm in my PDI, there's some error messages. I haven't troubleshooted any of this, but let's talk about that. One of the things I can do, I can flip easily between my team's work and my work. It changes the cards I'm seeing up there. If I scroll down a little bit further, if I wanna look at incident SLAs, I can click view all up here, which changes the view down here for incident SLAs. So there's some interactivity between these cards and what's showing down below in order for me to see these things. If you've seen another video I made uh, uh, just the other day, I can come in, edit the columns, change the way this looks and feels, personalize it to me and to my work. I can switch these incidents into a card view. I can pop them out into a separate list all within my workspace. Now I'm opening browse or I'm opening tabs within this particular workspace so I can move around easier. Same kind of personalization settings within these list views, but it gets better. If I go ahead and open up one of these incidents that's assigned to me, we'll do the scan thread detected. I get my overview. So this is a classic workspace theme we're seeing is this landing spot. We can see some high level metrics for the incident we're looking at. I've got my notes in the middle, some assessments on the right. If I click on details, I can see my incident details. And this is where some cool stuff starts happening that you haven't seen before in agent workspace. Let me move my head over to the left and call your attention to this guy over here on the right hand side. What the heck are assessments? These are coaching assessments, a loft and overlooked feature in service now to help your team improve their service, improve their documentation in response to incident. I can look at the record information. I can toggle down to agent assist. I love demoing agent assist because it shows how we can bring information to your agents to help them resolve incidents faster. What's this right here? On-call experts. I can get to my on-call configuration to say, hey, I need someone from the network team. Search for somebody and I'm going to get back exactly who's on call. I've got Bo Ruggery and David Liu on call for the network team. I can click and shift details, see what's going on with them all directly from this incident. I still have access to my attachments. I still have access to my templates. If I had any built in my PDI, they'd be showing up there. What else can I do? I'll tell you folks, this was kind of possible in the old agent workspace, but man, it's incredible here. I can create incident tasks, outages, problems. I can even create a request from this incident. Let's not do it just yet. Let's back up a little bit and show you what's at the top where I can create new things, new interactions, new incident. We'll start with new interaction. It's a great thing we see service desks actually using. We don't know when someone calls. Is it an incident? Is it a request? Is it you know just information they're needing? So we have this new type of record. We can say, hey, someone just messaged me. They asked me this question it's still new uh, I'll just put in test test and we'll save this from this interaction now I can create those same things I was just showing you some of these are customer service management you're seeing in here but I still have my ITSM stuff which I think is important in this service operations workspace I can create a change so I moved directly into change and wow look at this new interface I have cards like I was actually working on a change I'm filtering right now just on pre-approved changes I can switch this to my pinned changes if I had any I don't believe I I do have any. Yep, I don't. So we'll keep it pre-approved. I can just grab, oh, there's my reboot Windows server uh, change, and I can start moving through my change documentation details that you'd expect in a workspace to create a change request. If I wanted to see, hey, what does a change request actually look like in its life cycle? I've got a full access to all the different ITSM artifacts, assets, records that you would want to look up. So we'll open one here as Fred and see what an in-progress change request looks like. I've got change details on the left hand side, everything you expect, backup plan, scheduling, all that stuff. Change task as a separate tab in here, related records as a separate tab. I can continue the change request, I can refresh my affected services, I can go look at who's been waiting on for approvals. This is new for change management, we haven't seen this before. Let's go back to the interaction. What if this was a request? 
that was kind of a hassle in the old um, system. I need to get back to my interaction um, over right here. This was a hassle in the old agent workspace. When we got out of the catalog and into the change catalog, stuff like that, you saw how smooth that was. Watch this. We're going to create a service request. It's going to open my service catalog portal within this workspace. I can browse the different things in the catalog that someone might need. Maybe they were needing some software and maybe that was Adobe Acrobat Pro. We get the form, we fill it out. Bad example because I don't have any form fields to fill out, but I know I did on that executive desktop. We've got some details we can specify. We're going to do two gigabytes. We're going to change the hard drive level. All the stuff you'd expect from the catalog, but order now. And now this is going to create this request within the workspace. I didn't have to leave the incident or the interaction in this case. I still got my change open over here. If I refresh over here, now I have a related task for the request that I just created. I still have my change that I was working on. I can still come back out here to the request. I can close this. I don't need to see it any longer. And I still have all the other information that we had up here. My change request that we were poking around and looking at, my incident that I was actually looking at when we first opened this up, the incidents that are assigned to me, I can start browsing through all these different things and work on them. This is huge, everyone. I am so excited about this. I couldn't wait to make this video. I didn't bother cleaning up some of the errors and stuff because I wanted you to see this right away. I want you to install this. It's a plugin. It's through the store, but it's going to be also, if you just go to your system applications plugins, turn it on. If you have ITSM standard licensing, if you've upgraded to San Diego, turn it on. This is a game changer. I hope you like this video. I'm probably going to do some more on this new service operations workspace. If you like this, please like, please subscribe, please share it with someone who you think might be interested. And I really, really hope to see you on the next one.